For years, this has been the mark of a professional photographer. The skill, the patience, the hours spent mastering these tools to create the perfect portrait. So what have I told you that years of skill can be replicated in under 60 seconds by using AI? This is a Voto AI, and it's forcing a huge question on all of us. Is our craft becoming obsolete? Well, I've put it to the test today against Photoshop, and in this video, I found three things that it honestly does a lot better. And also one critical failure that proves Photoshop is not dead yet. By the end of this, you're gonna know if the AI cheat code is for you. Let's get into it. While we're not focusing on huge batches today, the first and most obvious advantage is still raw speed, even on a single image. In Photoshop, a detailed retouch often requires jumping between programs like Lightroom and using a multi-step workflow. Let's start the clock on a typical edit. And that's done. And by the way, Avoto AI have been kind enough to share up to a 20% off discount code, which you can check out in the description. Just click the link, add the description code at the checkout, and you're off to the races. Okay, back to the comparison. Let's talk about one of the most promised features in editing, and that is one-click selections. For the next test, we'll focus on background removal and subject selections. Now, to be clear, Photoshop has an incredible suite of powerful masking tools, but for speed, you'd first try the one-click select subject tool or the remove background feature. And as you can see, most cases, it does a decent job, but it often struggles with complex edges like hair. And when it goes wrong, you've got to dive into complicated things like the pen tool or select a mask and then try and refine and dial in the selection. This can take a lot of time to get right. Now, let's try the exact same image in a Voto AI. The selection around the hair is incredibly accurate, getting it right on the first try with no manual fixing needed. So while Photoshop can get there eventually, its promise of a one-click selection often creates more manual work. Avoto AI being trained specifically for portraits delivers that truly effortless one-click selection with amazing reliability. For speed and accuracy on this task, the advantage is clear. For our final advantage, let's actually look at the art of retouching a single portrait. In Photoshop, the traditional way requires deep knowledge, often using complex techniques like frequency separation. And while Photoshop has started adding its own AI neutral filters, the selection of tools is much more limited. And honestly, the results can often be a little hit or miss. Avoto, on the other hand, is built from the ground up. For this, it isn't just a few tools, it's a massive dedicated digital studio for portraits with an incredible amount of choice. It's honestly so deep with features and tools that we're not gonna have time in this video to go through each one of them. But I have made a separate deep dive video showing you exactly how to use Avoto AI in all the detail. Check that out above me right now. So want to remove wrinkles, widen teeth, remove eye bags, add digital makeup, or even reshape specific facial features. Each one is a dedicated, high quality tool with a simple slider. You can instantly increase or decrease the effect to get the exact look you want. It's a total game changer for workflow. There's virtually no learning curve. Anyone can achieve professional level results in seconds. Instead of wrestling with limited AI or building effects from scratch in Photoshop, Avoto lays it out in a complete superior retouching studio right in front of you. The sheer choice and quality combined with effortless control is an incredible advantage. So that's the three clear advantages for a Voto AI, but it's not perfect. To give you the full picture, we need to talk about the area where it kind of fails as Photoshop's complete replacement. So a common misconception might be that a Voto only works on portraits, and you can see you can absolutely open and edit a landscape or product shot. It actually has a great set of tools for making global changes to the entire image, like adjusting exposure, contrast, and overall color. However, the vast majority of Avoto's groundbreaking AI features, that huge list of intelligent sliders we saw earlier, are specifically designed to create incredible portraits. The software's main purpose and deepest power is perfecting images of people. 
Photoshop, on the other hand, aims to provide the same level of specialized depth across every genre, giving you more control in each of these areas. So this is not a flaw in the software's design, but it may be a little bit of a failure if you're looking for one program to take care of every single thing. A photo AI focuses its incredible AI power on making its portrait tools best in class, while Photoshop provides a deep specialized toolkit for every possible genre you can imagine. So where does this leave us? Well, actually the choice becomes very, very simple. If you're a wedding, event, or portrait photographer, a Voto AI isn't just a tool. It's a business solution. The time you save is undeniable and it will directly impact your workflow and of course your profitability. However, if you're a creative artist or a graphic designer or a photographer who needs a single tool for every single possible job they'll ever do, then Photoshop remains the essential all-in-one toolkit. Be sure to leave in the comments what you prefer and what you actually use in your own workflow. I'd be really interested to know how you guys do it. Now remember that up to 20% off discount, which is in the description. Go check that out if you're interested in a photo AI. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Hit subscribe, hit like, and I'll see you in the next video.